Maybe, maybe I'm gonna start doing my streams all dramatic, like, like this, like. I'll have to edit that out. But unfortunately, it's a live stream. But hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're doing a Daytona rebuild today. So welcome everybody in chat. Good to see you here. If you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so Raptor Man can give you a big O shout out. So uh, I guess we can get right into the game. Let's see if we can do a record rebuild here today. I've gotten quite used to uh, doing all these rebuilds and everything. So what's up, Jack Bo? Good to see you in chat. Hi there, everyone. Good to see you all. Johan and Brooklyn Bridge, Matt, Kendrick, good to see you all. All right, well, without further ado, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're just getting started, so let's go. I think we need to do this button here. Yes, okay. And here comes the music. Wait, hold on. Let me adjust something. And perfect. All right. Oh, wait. I don't want to exit or anything. Okay. We got ourselves the Daytona rebuild to do here today. We are just getting more and more cars. We also have a Chevrolet. Uh, is, wait a minute. Is this going to be a... Wait. This could be a convertible. Ooh. That might be nice. All right. We'll see if we can get ourselves a convertible car going on here. Again, if you folks are around this, new around these parts, I should say, if you want to see more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, go ahead and hit that like button. There's a free game waiting for you down below in the description, by the way. The first link in the description is a free game waiting for you. And if you're new around these parts, again, hit that subscribe button so I can give you a big O. Big O! Shout out. Just like the Pats, the best. You are the best. Thank you for subscribing. All right. Let me pull something up here so I can make sure I'm giving you guys all your shout outs, and we should be good. All right. So we got to do a, uh, you guys know the drill. I've been enjoying doing this, and so we're going to continue on doing it. Uh, in Car Mechanic Simulator, we're basically pulling this car completely apart, reassembling it after repairing all the parts, giving her a new paint job in our paint section over there, and then sending her on our way. So we've already rebuilt a, a Mazda 3 recently. We're going to do a Chevy uh, next time. There we got our Daytona over here. We got our uh, our uh, Charger and our um, Ford Mustang over here. Emil, thank you for subscribing. All right, lots to do, not a lot of time, so let's get started then. We're going to go ahead and pull the body apart, I guess, before we lift her up. Welcome aboard, Sheeta. Again, if you guys want to hit that subscribe button, I will give you a shout-out. So welcome aboard. Fastest growing YouTube channel on YouTube. Growth not actually guaranteed. All right, let's continue on. All right. Let's, uh, can we take this apart? Can we take the... Oh, I guess not. It's only the... Uh, oh, okay. It's part of the body. All right. We'll take the taillights out here, rear bumper, and uh, any windows or anything. Oh, looks like we can take the seats out. Let's pull that all out. And the steering wheel. Lou, welcome aboard. All right. You guys love Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, so we're going to keep on playing. Anybody here uh, just start school, by the way? Anybody? Anybody just start school like this week or something like that? And remember, spamming hi, 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 hi in chat to get a shout-out is going to get you ignored. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want a shout-out or support us via Super Chat for that super shout-out. Hi, everyone in chat. Good to see you all here today. Nice to have you all tuning in. So uh, good to have you with us. Let's try to do this one in record time for those of you wanting to see. This actually might be a, the ultimate race car. We'll, we'll see about that one. I keep calling them race car, but to be honest, a lot of these are good muscle cars. The Japanese car we built yesterday, the uh, or not yesterday, but earlier, uh, the Mazda 3 was a uh, awesome car. So, uh, again, check the channel for that. Welcome aboard each and every one of you. Nice to see you all here. All right, well, we're going to do this in record time. I've gotten used to disassembling uh, suspensions and the engines and reassembling them all. Uh, the uh, Mazda 3 was a uh, very unique one that we did yesterday. But we're going to try it uh, with the... Uh, with the Charger here today, or well, I should say the Daytona. Uh, let's go ahead and get those uh, suspension arms off. We're going to take off uh, pretty much everything first underneath this car. Then we're going to drop her down, get the engine out, start working on that, and then put it all together and paint it. Michael Boyer, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here today, folks. I'm going to be live streaming, by the way, next week live, literally live in my apartment with the rest of the guys. Garrett, thanks for subscribing. So we're going to be hanging out, chilling. You guys can uh, just come say hi. We're going to be doing a lot of picking on each other and stuff. Probably won't be PG, so... Uh, a lot of you guys like it when we, you know, keep it PG, but that probably won't be. So, how do you subscribe? Well, you hit that subscribe button, just like uh, how you hit the super chat button too, if you guys want to support us that way. I would recommend though that you all hit that like button if you want to see more of this type of content. If you like cars and whatnot, you know, I'm actually going to leave this here, uh, the cross member, because of the uh, engine. We're going to pretend like that's holding the engine in, so we'll do that. Middle muffler's coming out. Let's get also the uh, drivetrain off. Ah, we'll go over to the other wheel. Screw it. <coughs> Woo! All right, let's get going. So we got a lot of work to do on this car here today. Hi there, Beast Stall. Good to see you. And uh, Cool Catcher, how fast can yeah? How fast can I disassemble? I don't know. Um, yeah, sometimes I gotta stop and like explain things. Like for example, you can get a free game in the description with the first link, that kind of thing. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue to uh, disassemble. Oh, we gotta take the bushings out first. I always feel like that's a part of the thing, but no, it's gotta go in there separately. 
Very good. Well, welcome aboard, folks. Now, I know a lot of people are going back to school and stuff, so these are really going to be a lot quieter streams. A lot of people might say, the channel's dying. It's de it's over. The dream. No, people are just starting school again and everything like that. So I don't know when this game will be on Xbox One. That's a good question, but it should be coming sometime soon, I would hope. Uh, they're probably doing a lot of, uh, a lot of finishing uh, touches to it. Raptor stripper name, Raptor the Tapper? Mm, that, that sounds like I'm doing more pro like a creative dance. All right, let's go over to the other tire. So we're going to get all the wheels off here. I actually like these wheels a lot. I think we might actually fix these wheels up and just keep them. I, I li actually like this one. It's nice to meet me. Oh, Beast All, you're very kind. Welcome aboard. All right. You're a big fan? Good. Yeah, you know, these uh, streams are going to be quieter and quieter. I notice all of YouTube is just getting quiet. Everybody's just, like, going back to school and work and stuff. We're entering the fall. It's almost here. Autumn is upon us. It's time for kids to go back to school. People to start their full-time jobs again if they've gone on vacation, that kind of thing. Raptor the Flapper? Ooh. Well, that, that'd that be if I was a pterodactyl, though, I think. That'd be more appropriate for a pterodactyl. Let me turn my volume up here just a bit. There we go. All right. Now, we got to get these rubber bushings out, and uh, we're going to go. Now, remember, I'm going to need your guys' ideas on colors of the car, and I'm going to need your guys' ideas on... Um, uh, a license plate as well, so whatever state you might be in. Uh, you can say it now, but remember, now's not the time. I'll be painting in a little bit, but just keep in mind what cool colors you might want to see this uh, car painted as, that kind of thing. So we're going to take apart the rear shock absorbers now, and that allows us to take off the leaf spring axle as soon as the drive shaft off. So that should be the last thing to hold us back. So good stuff. All right, let's see here. And again, if you guys want to shout out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, you hit that subscribe button. Your name will pop up, and I'll uh, say hi to you. And, uh, of course, you can support us via Super Chat or just hit that like button, too, to let us know you want to see more. All right, there comes the rear drive axle. Here comes the fuel tank. That's coming out, too. And the fuel pump apparently was already disassembled. Okay, let's take the gearbox out. That's the last thing that's holding the car engine in before we can remove it. And we'll leave all that assembled. Okay, we got to take the last wheel off this side over here, too. The racing wheels, they look pretty cool. This could be a good dragster. Is Chris Yoakum here? I'm not sure. Jacob, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Good to have you with us. All right, let's see. Blue and orange like the... No oh, that, ooh, that sounds like some good colors. Chase Baker, thanks for subscribing. Now yeah, we'll have to see what kind of colors we can paint this thing. I like that idea, though. Black, ooh, that'd be cool too, like a shiny black or like a, a matte black, I don't know. San Antonio's where you're watching from? Oh, my goodness. That actually makes me want some good Texas barbecue right there, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of these suspensions out and uh, take off the, uh, oh, not that. Wait, yes, this. Christian, welcome aboard. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are great. Listen to that rock music. Uh, ice cream hasn't arrived? Ooh, what kind of ice cream? Let's see here. Sw front sway bar is coming out. We're going to also take off the inner tie rod, but let me get that outer tie rod off first, which is right here. Oh, no, no, not that. Looks like a lot of the engine's missing. This car was completely beat up, by the way. We got this one from a uh, from a junkyard, so we're going to make this one a, uh, a racing monstrosity. Hi from Lakeville. Well, hello back from uh, Minneapolis. All right, and uh, S Stefan Stevenson, thank you for subscribing. All right, let's take those off. There we go. All right, now we're going to drop her back down. We're going to take that engine out, and then we're going to raise her back up and take that uh, cross member out of there. I think we got all the body and interior parts out. I might be missing something, but that's okay. All right, let's get our crane over here. You guys know the drill. Crane comes over, and then we do a, uh, a welding and an interior cleaning as soon as the engine's out. Oh, wait, the bat. Oh, that's a strange spot for the battery. That seems so out of place. Wait, why can't I pick that up? Battery, you're coming with me. There we go. Okay. Caleb, thank you for subscribing. Hi, everyone in chat. Good to see you all here today. Hi. Hello. Hope you're doing great. Welcome. We need to take this out. Look at this engine, man. This is just like in pieces. Barely anything's here. How does somebody let that happen? Jeez. Pull that engine out then. All right. It's stored in our pocket now. Brake servo can come along. Oh, brake pump, I guess. You're coming out. There we go. And then let's get that cross member out, and that should be everything on the car. Get a battery on the charger right away. Go ahead and get that one up take a moment or two but we'll come back to it in a minute okay and let's get the cross member off and we'll go ahead and repair everything that we can michael thanks for subscribing all right we got two bushings left i think to believe on the other side we got we got to get these there we go have i heard of real farm sim yes i did i've already made an application to uh, play that game looks like a ton of fun a lot of good games coming out soon so we'll see about that 
I don't know how I sold the customer car. I don't know either. That was crazy. That was crazy. All right, over here we're going to reassemble the in Wait a minute. No, 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 no. First we should actually disassemble the engine, then we'll try to repair all the parts. So let's do that. So we're going to disassemble the uh, one carb V8 over here. And what was that engine? Other engine we had. I guess it won't say. All right. So we're going to disassemble this engine in its entirety and then see if we can start doing some repairs uh, of all the parts. And then we're going to reassemble the engine, do some paint jobs and a few other things. So we're going for record time here today, folks. We're going to see if we can do this. So everybody stay tuned as we uh, disassemble, reassemble the Daytona. And uh, also, if you have other ideas for uh, cars that you want me to do, uh, don't worry. I plan on doing every, uh, just every great little car out there, big or small. You know what would be really funny to do is like a van. Wouldn't that be cool to do a van just once? Just just once. Oh, yes. Yes, you did. You did comment on how I did it. That's strange, but it was funny. All right, let's go ahead and continue to remove uh, parts, though I think we should probably remove, yeah, the alternator and a few other things on here. There we go. Wow, those are some big O engines. Ignition distributor. And also, I think we might be able to just pull out the crankshaft, or camshaft, sorry. Crankshaft's going to be on the other side. So it looks like we're going to have to flip it and take all those um, pistons and such out. So let's do that. We'll rotate the engine twice, and we'll look underneath. What car is this? This is the Daytona. We've done ourselves a, a beautiful little, uh, look at that, <laughs> Shrike with the, uh, with the peach there, the beautiful little charger. Uh, we've got our Mustang over here, and we also even have a Trans Am in the back and also a Corvette that we'll do eventually. But for now... We're going to go ahead and do this. Yes, if you guys want to get a free game, by the way, a free game is waiting for you in the description. First link, go ahead and click that. You guys can download Crossout right now. If you think building cars is cool, then you can build your own right there. Go ahead and download Crossout right now today. And uh, we do get a little bit of a uh, little bit of love from the developers too. So, you know, a little, little, little bit of a sponsorship there with them. But I like the game a lot. I haven't played it in a while, but that's good because when, when I go back to it, it means there will be a ton of new things to do. We've been playing it like crazy. So, all right, time to repair all of our parts here. Let's see what we can do. 2016 Chevy. What kind of Chevy, though? Like a truck, or you got to, like, specify. All right, we're going to try to repair everything under the sun here. And anything that can't be repaired, we'll just repurchase. We're already missing missing some parts anyway by default, so we'll see if we can actually, uh, you know, get everything 100% and then start doing uh, a rebuild. Now, we might want to do the painting. I think this is the way we usually do it, so I, I might get the suspension re reinstalled and then do a paint job on it. We'll see what we can do here. El Camino, we've done an El Camino already. That was a ton of fun. So that was a, that's an excellent choice. El Camino was tons of fun. We've done a Mustang. Uh, we've done a Charger. We've done, uh, I don't know. We'll have to find out some more things to do. We'll find more. There's plenty of cars out there, folks. I think it, all in all, there's like four cars that exist in the world. Just kidding. There's hundreds of thousands of cars. How do you get a money mod? Oh, Shrike set me up with it, so I, I couldn't tell you, I guess. Okay. And boom, repairs are done. Okay, now, everything's been repaired that we had access to. My goodness, Waffle, hi. Thank you for your $5 there, buddy. Ooh, you're nice. Thank you. All right, let's get a uh, engine on here. Let's go ahead and... How do I put an engine on here? Let's see. Engine crane. And there we go. Add engine. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, look at that. Wait a minute. That doesn't seem like the right engine. Where did you come from? What car did you come from? Oh boy, here comes the artillery strike. Alright, I don't know what I don't know what engine this thing came from. What the f Okay. It, it doesn't like me apparently. Alright, we're gonna see if we can uh, maybe drop it out there. And if you guys want a shout out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want a shout out, go ahead and support us via super chat. Get that big O shout out. I don't know why I can't remove this engine all of a sudden. Mm, I think it's a glitch or something. Not so much for that record time. Let's see if I can pull something off and make it think that we've repaired it. Let's try to go for the... Uh, try to take the uh, air filter off here. And then let's... Uh, how do we install? Right click. I don't know where this engine came from. Uh oh. All right, we'll see. All right, let's see if we can... Uh, boy, that's the only area I have to work on the engine. I wonder if we can drop it in manually, though. That's not right, but there's some sort of a glitch, it seems. But that's all right. We'll work on the body. Let's do that. We'll come back to that in a second. I don't know where that engine came from because we've got an engine in all the other cars, so I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. All right. Also, you can't donate just $1,000 in order to use Super Chat. You have to use it uh, with the uh, little thing down below. 
can't just randomly type <laughs> dollar amounts in, though I appreciate the uh, thought. That's very kind. All right, let's go ahead and put this all together. So we're going to do a body weld first. Let's go ahead and fix up the body. Boom. And let's go ahead and fix up the interior with the detailer. Very nice. So she's back to 100% on the body. We just need to buy some new parts for it. So we can do that as well. Let's get to painting this thing then. We'll do the engine last because it's going to be a pain. It seems to have glitched out or something. So we'll move this engine crane out of the way. Engine crane, you got to go. It's not even letting me select the engine crane. All right, I don't know what happened. Okay, this game's gone goofy. All right, well, regardless, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and buy and assemble all the fenders we need to do. So we'll go ahead and see if we can put some fenders back on. Looks like she's got a couple of mis mi uh, mixed matching pieces here. I don't think we have a front left. I don't. Well, we might have the doors. Nope. Let's see what we have and what we don't have. Oh, it looks like we can install the headlights here. Though those are bro. Oh boy, those are bad. Let's see. If we got 100% on this other one. Nope. No parts to work with there. You're tired. Oh. And again, remember to get a shout out, folks. Hit the subscribe button. In order to get a shout out, be an active member of chat. In order to get a shout out, support us via super chat those are the greatest ways to uh, for us all to win all right let's see right tail light left tail light maybe nope still bad okay well let's do some body work on this thing so let's go ahead and type in this thing is in the game called a tempest i believe so let's go ahead and head over to the body shop and uh, let's do tempest and uh, we're gonna have to buy a few things on this one the front left fender i think we need to rebuy uh, we need to definitely buy the mirrors on this thing headlights and tail lights need to buy the trunk. I think we need a front and rear bumper. Definitely the uh, glass. There's our hood. Almost buying everything we got here. And I think we're good on everything else. Maybe I'm missing a door, but we'll come back and check. I think we're missing those windows too. But we'll get this stuff installed first. Uh, Tim, thank you for subscribing. A big O shout out to Tim. Thanks for subscribing there, Tim. Oh, yes. Tr Let's see. Oh, it doesn't recognize the new version on Trucker's MP. Okay, we'll play. Well, maybe we'll play some. Uh, maybe I'll do some trucking tomorrow. Would that be cool? You got? Would you guys join? You guys want to join in on a big old convoy tomorrow? Uh, this license plate is from the. What, did that say the UK? Oh, it kind of disappeared when I dropped down there. All right, let's see. Assemble mode. We'll take a look at that soon. Left door is what we need now. Left front door. America, thank you for subscribing. There we go. Let's pop. Oh, we got to get a driver's side window in. Let's see. There is nothing more to do in uh, Gold Rush, so I can't do anything more. You guys have seen everything there is to do. If I do that again, it's just going to be the same thing over and over. I, I don't know. I don't feel like I want to do that again if there's nothing new. I know you guys would like it like crazy, but... I don't know. If you're new around these parts, though, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, folks, so that way you never miss out on when we're streaming or what we're doing next. So to make sure that you never miss out on a stream and are always notified, hit that subscribe button and that bell, of course. Follow me on Twitter, too. I want to get some new Twitter followers. So come say hi on Twitter, at Raptor Gamer on Twitter. I don't have a Twitter. Get one, guys. Come, come say hi to me. You can follow me on Twitter. We can say hi back and forth. You can send me cool pictures of cars. You got a friend to talk to on there. I might not always reply because sometimes I'll be busy, but... I'll try to do my best. Okay, so it looks like the body and the windows are all reinstalled here. It looks like everything's looking good on the uh, car body. I think we got everything. It doesn't look like there's a front bumper. There's just the, uh, there's that. So, and I think we got the headlights, didn't we? Okay, looks like we're good. All right, let's raise this thing up and see if we can do some painting then. So we're going to put the suspension back on it and the wheels. What do I think of the new Scooby gang? You mean Scooby-Doo? I don't know. I don't think I've watched that for a while. Red, dark red? Well, we'll see. We'll see on the colors here in a moment. Okay. i got to get over here. Hold on. There we go. Got to get that out of the way. Installation time. All right. Suspension. Uh, there we go. we got to put our... Uh, there we go. That's it. The cross member has got to go on. Can never have enough rubber bushings. I told you guys that a million times. You definitely... Need to put a bunch of those bushings on. Did we miss some glass? We'll come back to it then. If there's anything missing on the body, we'll definitely get it on a final pass to make sure we didn't miss anything. If I did, we'll come back. No problems. All right, the uh, cross member is in. Good. All right, now time for the uh, sway 
or the sp uh, steering rack and the sway bar. Nope, sway bar. We're gonna need a new one. All right, let's go back to the regular shop. All right. Oh, this car is gonna go fast. This is gonna be really cool. Um, what do we want to do? This is the uh, sway, sway bar. Number B. Seems like we always need a ton of these sway bar front end links, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of these too. Because we might not use it on this car, but we'll definitely use it at some point. Alright, let's go with 12 of those bad boys. There we go. Boom! Yes, you definitely want to buy like 4 tons of rubber bushings. They are super valuable, that is correct. Inner tie rods, looks like we're going to need to buy a couple of those too. Inner. Inner tie rods. There we go. And let's just go with like 12 here as well. Would I ever play Call of Duty? Probably. Maybe just the campaign of the new one. It's probably all I'd have time for, really. Oh, let's drop that sway bar in, too. Wait, I thought I brought a... Didn't I buy a front-end sway bar? S-W-A-Y. Maybe I forgot to buy it. Oh, that was a rear sway bar. My bad. I yeah, will buy a couple of those, too. Four in total. Hi, everyone in chat. Good to see you all here today. Again, if you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can give you a big old shout-out. It's nice to see so many people here as we continue to rebuild some American classics and all sorts of great cars here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. She got off to a shaky start, but the game is definitely solid now. It's tons of fun to play. I didn't realize I would actually be playing this one as long as I did. Whoa. Don't want that. What is that thing? The outer tie rod. Okay, we're going to need those. Outer tie rod. Eat chicken? I did for dinner, actually. And it was really good. Chicken breast with uh, uh, broccoli and uh, like roasted potatoes, and it was awesome. I guess when I feel like I'm in the mood for cooking, I make some nice stuff. I don't get too fancy, but I'm definitely not going to do like macaroni and cheese and hamburger every night. I mean, that's fine sometimes, but you gotta like you gotta spice it up, you know. Sometimes you gotta do something amazing, and then other times you're just like meh. So there you go. I'm doing good there, John. I hope you're doing good too. We're gonna need some more disc brakes for sure. And we're going to buy a bunch of these. There we go. Alright, we should have enough of these. And we'll need drum brakes in the back once we come up to it. Oh, looks like we need some wheel hub bearings too. Wheel hub bearings. Yeah, these are another part. That, they're, it's uh, because they're interchangeable. So whether or not you're using a Mazda... All the cars use the same parts, so if you're using uh, anything, whether or not it's a Chevy or a Ford or a Dodge, they all use the same. A lot of the interchangeable parts. Otherwise, they'd have to get like oh, just a million different parts, and I could understand they didn't want to make everything in the game. Okay, there we go. Another part installed here, so we're getting a little closer to putting the wheel on this one. We just need to get the outer tie rod in there, and that should be it aside from the suspension. And we'll have to put that on next. Oh, no, 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 not the tire yet. we got to get that suspension on there. Not only that, but we also need to get the uh, suspension springs on, too, the shock absorbers. And we're going to have to get that all installed here in just a moment. That should be the next thing. Double wishbone shock absorber. I bet that's in real bad shape. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can use that at the spring puller. Why do I leave the cord hanging? This cord over here? Oh, because it comes from the... It's plugged into the microphone, so I can hear. Do you, want, do you not want it to hang? Here, let, let, here, I'll hide it by my black shirt. Now you can't... Oh, it's vanished. Oh my god. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pull some parts apart. Oh boy, those are already in bad shape. So rather than even wasting time, let's just go ahead and buy those double wishbone. YOLO Panda, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Double wishbone shock absorber, boom. And uh, let's go ahead and buy ourselves a spring. Spring has sprung. Oh, spring. Spring. There we go. And let's go with that. And we'll go with the uh, cap as well. Going to bust a cap here in a second. All right, let's go with the caps. EAP, you're the best. Oh, you guys are the best. Thanks for being viewers here. All right, we're going to go ahead and assemble all of our springs now. That's going to be good. All right. And spring puller, join parts, boom. Oh, stop that. Wait, rear shock absorber. Double wishbone. There you go. That's what we're looking for. All right, spring puller will do its job on this first one. All right. What's my favorite car? Probably the one we're working on right now. It always changes. I always like the one we're working on. It's just fun to get in there and get dirty. Spring has sprung. Yes, spring has sprung indeed. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our uh, springs on to the uh, bottom here. And that should be the uh, driver's side uh, wheel mount ready to go. Aside from that, actually. 
There we go. And then the spring. For the double wishbone shock absorber. Boom. That's it. So the tire should be ready to go on this side, but we'll go over to the other side now. We're not going to put any tires on yet. I still need to repair those rims. Oh, looks like we need to get a steering knuckle, too. On the next PewDiePie? Maybe. All right, let's see. Probably not. I think it's front... Yeah, there we go. That's probably going to be it right there. All right, let's see. Everyone watch my channel. Let's go for front steering C. Okay, that's going to be good. Am I late to the stream? Well, technically yes, but people come and go all the time, so it's not like you're missing out on anything. Now again, folks, if you hit that subscribe button, your name will pop up here. I want to shout out the new people, so if you're new around these parts, hit that subscribe button, get a shout out, and of course, as always, a free game in the description in the first link. Go ahead and download that one across out right now, available uh, for you to download. So if you like building cars, that is the game for you. Welcome aboard uh, the Viz Viziano. Thank you for subscribing. Good to have everyone here. Good to have all the new subscribers. Nice to have you here. If you guys want to shout out again, best way to do it. Got to do it through that subscription. All right, let's get those uh, wheels on there. There we go. Now we'll have ventilated disc brakes in the front, and then we'll have uh, drum brakes in the back, it seems. Seems to be the way it goes around these parts. There's our uh, front-end shock absorber. We're going to get our sway bar attached here. Or the uh, end link. There we go. Boom, boom. And then we'll put our knuckle on there, too. Not the knuckle, but the the bearing. Uh and brakes. Uh, Eskitsky, thanks for subscribing. You love the videos? I do too. My videos are very fun to make. So thanks for watching them. Burliest Cash, thanks for subscribing. Look at that. See, getting your big, um, big, uh, burr, burr, um, big old shout outs. Help you in Crossout? What? You can download Crossout in the first link. There you go. You can contact the developers if you have any questions about it, though. They're a very nice bunch. However, I need to get a tire on here. There we go. Boom. All right, everything's good to go here, and then we'll uh, do the back end next. And uh, Norwood, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. All right, now time for the leaf springs to go in. Looks like they're in bad shape. Bad shape for the leaf springs. Right, let's go ahead and buy two of these. There might be some more parts in bad shape, so I'm going to buy four of these two of these and we should be good oh two is what I wanted there we go better than Amazon Prime you get the stuff immediately when you buy it in this game so that's kinda nice better than waiting at the shop for a couple of weeks Andrew Johnson thanks for subscribing looks like we're out of rubber bearings you know what that means we gotta buy a million more rubber bearings gotta buy a million of them things Chewy McNugget oh wait rubber there we go now we want just uh, about I don't know a ton of these things ton of these Nissan, Kia, and Ferrari do not belong in America? Well, I don't know about that because uh, Ferrari made an absolutely incredible looking vehicle. And uh, Nissan is very cool. The Skyline, very nice. And Kia, I think uh, there's some very nice luxury sedans from Kia. That's for sure. But here's the good thing. If those companies are here, that means they're taking a little bit of the profit from others. And if they're taking the profit, that means those companies are going to work harder to get your money. And if they have to work harder, that means you get a better product. And if you get a better product, you get more worth of your money. So it's a good thing. We'd, we'd still have Model Ts if companies didn't have to try, if you think about it. All right, let's see. All right, we better put those rubber bushings into that. Oh, what, what, why with this? Oh, is it the small? Oh, it's the small rubber bushing. Okay, got to make sure we get a billion of these. You subscribed? Well, thanks for being a subscriber. Doing good there, gaming farmer. Good to see you there. Uh, bulk, yeah. Oh, that'd be nice if you could do bulk prices. Yeah, that's okay. Big old buys here though. What happened to the stream? It's dead. It's, it's over. It's all. It's all over. No, it's still fine. Just refresh your page. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mean to leave. I mean to do this. There we go. Well, hello, everyone in chat. Good to see you all here today. Hello, hello. Good to see everyone watching. I hope you're all doing great. Hopefully you're having a... Hey, tomorrow's Friday. And I'm on vacation after tomorrow, too. So uh, uh, I might not stream as much. I have some friends visiting. You guys will see them on live stream, though. So uh, you're all welcome aboard. I'm going to be buying a new camera. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm going to buy, like, a 4K action cam. It's going to be kind of spendy, and I've not really done it before, but... Con, thanks for subscribing. I guess it's about time the Dino Man gets a nice camera so he can show you. I could show you my world. Napping, crying, and tacos. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get four bolts in here. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, four of them in there. Wheel hub number four is going to be aligned with the uh, drum cylinder, then the brake shoe. Then, oh, oh, bra oh, oh, better buy some new shoes here. 
We're going shoe shopping. Let's go. Drum. Wait, no, no, no. It should be shoes. Oh my god, shoes. All right. Any tips to building what? Uh, a car? Um, just take your time. Do it uh, again and again and again. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. It's just like anything in life, really. This is why I know what we're doing here. Okay, so everything should be assembled here, except for that leaf spring, for whatever reason, didn't, didn't get thrown on there. I usually start with that, but I guess I forgot it this time. It's all good. Put the rubber bushings into this one, and then we'll get those uh, rear suspension on. And then also we need to get the uh, the U-shaped uh, bolts underneath for the linkage to the, to the uh, thing. The thing that makes it go broom. I think it's the technical term. That'd be the... Uh, the uh, drive axle. Okay, so that should all be good. We're going to now install uh, rear shock absorbers. Uh, let's go ahead and buy those. Hey, by the way, everyone, what did what did you have for dinner, by the way? Because I had, um, I think it's B. I had, uh, so I had like a, a sautéed chicken breast with uh, like some broccoli and some, uh, broccoli and some potatoes, and it was really nice. Nissan blogs in a scrapyard? Oh, all this hate for Nissan. Did, like, Nissan tell a lie about you or something? Oh, Chinese food? Oh, that's nice. Jason Packer with the Chinese food. All right. Rice and ground beef? That's good, too. I like some good, ri oh, like, white rice. Uh, poutine! All right. Very nice. I had, I had pe oh, cheese pizza. Very good. Pork chops and peas. Barbecue chicken. Very nice. Steak sandwich. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Everyone's eating good out here. Well, good, good, good. Again, if you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to say hi to you, so your name will pop up here, and I'll welcome you to the stream. So hello to all of our new friends out there. Let's go ahead and get some tires uh, going on this thing. So we've taken off four tires on our uh, Daytona. She's all looking good here. We do need to do a little build on the engine, but there was some sort of a glitch with it, so we'll figure that out in a minute. It's not the end of the world. And we're going to go ahead and uh, remove some tires here. Ooh, the, uh, looks like the rim is in bad shape. But we can try to uh, maybe repair the rim, and if not, we will go ahead and see if we can uh, uh, buy some new ones. So that'll be good. Boo, school through. Oh, you got to go to school? Is that? Oh, no. You got to go back to school. Back to school. Oh, no. Actually, I think where I live, they don't start until next month. But uh, Mr. Thunder, thanks for subscribing. Tacos? Yeah. Tacos are nice. Especially homemade. Uh, Milker, thank you very much for subscribing. I actually have a friend from college who owns a Mexican restaurant. Oh, man, so good. Mexican food is just... I like crunchy Mexican. Soft Mexican food is okay, but I, I like when you have a little bit of a crunch. I like that, like a nice hard shell taco or something like that. All good stuff. Mexican's very nice. Italian, oh, man. Italian seafood, like uh, pasta, oh, boy. Oh, oh, all right, all right, let's not talk food. we got to get to work. All right, it's not our lunch break yet. We're going to go over to the repair bench, see if we can repair some of these uh, wheel hubs. All right, good, good, good. All right, looks like we were only able to repair three. Weird how it only allows you to repair certain ones. All right, we better find out what size that was then. Those tires look pretty good. I mean, the, the, um, the uh, wheel hubs look pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it was going to freeze for a second. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we need here? Oh boy, where are the? I better sort it by uh, rims. There we go. Uh, finish the suspension. We are. Well, I think we did actually. We're going to. Uh, oh, looks like this is it here. It's a three C sixteen inch, and it looks like we got all three of those. Or is it this? Wait, ten inch retro. What? Fourteen. That must be off a different car. Uh, we're looking at this here, the 16-inch. So let's go ahead and buy some tires for that. Hi, everyone. Good to see you. Lamborghini. Yeah, you know, I can do some mods sometime in the future. That'll be fun. All right, well, all of our rims look good. Let's go with some tires then. Let's go with the race tire Bs. It has that nice writing on it. Uh, let's see. It needs to be 16-inch. Let's go with uh, 75s in the front, maybe 85s in the back. Tuna and rice. That sounds healthy. Boy, some of you guys are very uh, eat very well. All right, we're going to buy one tire. We're going to uh, assemble it and see how it looks. This will be our front end tire then. Uh, and this needs to be that one there. So we'll install it and balance it. Too bad we can't just, like, put it up there to see if it's good before we balance it. Has a nice little white wall around it. Just, just a tiny little microcosm of a white wall. All right, let's see if this works. 
Okay, now once we get all the tires on, we get to paint this thing. So keep in mind, in just a few minutes, folks, I'm going to need to know from you what colors you want to paint this car. So if you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can give you a big old shout-out. Hi, everyone. A free game is waiting for you in the description. So check out that first link. Hi there, Montessor. Good to see one of our moderators in chat and Cool Catcher as well, two very active members of our community. Thanks again to uh, Waffle for his $5 uh, donation as well. Very nice. And School, thank you very much for subscribing. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a front tire on here. Let's see what happens if we do that. Hey, that looks nice. Let, well, this is just for looks. Let's see how she looks. Are we happy with this? Mm, looks a little small. But it is a racing tire, so we want it to be a little smaller in the front. We're going to have some big O tires in the back. So let's go ahead and go with that. Now, I forgot exactly. I think this was 175, so we're going to buy another one of those. And then we're going to do bigger tires in the back. So let's go with this. We'll go with 16 175s. And I think the profile was 55, so we're going to buy one more of those for the front. Tucker, thanks for subscribing. And then we're going to go with, uh, let's go with 180, well, maybe 95s in the back. Or no, profile is what, we're, is what we're looking for. Well, actually, you do want a bigger width in the back, too. Let's go with 195s. Let's bring the profile up to, like, 8, 70. Would that be okay? Let's try that. Let's see how that turns out. Making a drag car? We can't, we couldn't, we, yeah, it's completely possible. Why not? We can test it out a little bit if we don't like it, and we think it. We can just do it again. We're we're in a car shop for God's sakes. All right, let's go ahead and put. Uh, actually, maybe I could have put bigger rims on the back too. Maybe maybe just a little bit bigger rims in the back, but that's okay. We'll just keep it like this for now. Okay, let's go with. Uh, let's see, these are 16 race tires. That's what we want here. Boom. Very nice. All right. Hi there. Hi everyone. Hi there, David and Multituber. Hi there, Gaming Farmer and Suzuki and Tanner, Cool Catcher and uh, Taylor Vogel, just to name a few folks who are tuning in. If you want a shout out, shout out, please shout out, please shout out, shout out. Go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. Your name will pop up here, and I can give you a big old shout out for being such a wonderful supporter this evening. So it's nice to see so many kind folks tuning into the stream, and I'm happy you're all here. Miguel, welcome. You're very kind to hit that subscribe button. A big old shout out. Big old shout out. All right, look at this. We got a whole tire factory going here. Jeez, watch out there, uh, uh, Goodyear. We're having ourselves a good day. All right, and we'll add another tire here. While this one's being balanced and this one's being installed, we should be able to... Nope, let's go back. Install, we want... Uh, oh, wait, is that our last tire? Or did it do, Or did it eat one of our... Oh, I think that's it right there. Is that it? I think that's it. 195s. I don't know. We'll figure it out here in a second. Keaton, thanks for subscribing. I got so many rims and tires, it's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and uh, add a back tire here. Remember, our rear tires are a little bigger. Whoa, 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 didn't mean to do that. Spinning winning, thanks for subscribing. I think I took that tire away, which I think means it's going to, like, delete now. You're not even going to see it anymore. Oh, my God. All right, uh, Vito, thanks for subscribing. I wanted to bring up this menu. Oh, my God. I keep doing that. I don't want to click. Stop making me click. The Elite, welcome aboard. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we want a bigger tire in the back, 175, 55. This is it right here, 195. So that is the tire we want. Jeez. Adrian's, thanks for subscribing. Now, that's a big O tire. Actually, we probably should have put slicks on it, but that's okay. Sam, thanks for subscribing. Now, that looks cool. That actually looks really cool. Makes that front tire look a little small, though. A little small. But actually, we would want the front end lowered down a little bit. You'll see when we when we put it down. You, you definitely want that front end to be down a little bit on this car. You'll see why in a moment. All right, let's grab the tires over here. Keep up the good work. You guys are great. Thanks for the compliments and everything. You folks are very kind. All right, let's go ahead and balance this tire, then we'll install the other side. Man of America, welcome aboard. What's going on, AK? Oh, how you doing? I'm good. All's good. Everyone's good. All right, let's see. Uh, welcome to the fun zone, yeah, I, I guess. The fun zone is everywhere around me, though. I'm not actually the zone itself. It's just around me, I guess. All right, let's put those tires on. Hopefully this is the right one. And it looks like that is. They look tiny. They look tiny. Keep up. Keep on the work. Yes, I will do that. All right, our final tires should be balanced, and we should be pretty good to go here. And we'll uh, install the remaining... Uh, any, if we missed any mirrors or any windows or anything like that, we'll make sure it's fixed up and ready to go. Jeff Schultz. Welcome aboard. You guys are fantastic. All these new subscribers. Hit that button, folks. Let me give you a big old shout out. Shout out if you hit that sub button. Yeah. All right. And we're good with the tires. Very nice. So, that looks absolutely fantastic. I like the way this thing looks. All right. Let's go ahead and drop her down now. And uh, though we don't have the engine in, we'll work on that next. 
Uh, we do have the engine. Actually, I don't know what that is, is doing over there. That's not its engine. That's a different engine. It kind of kind of actually got goofed up. Uh, let's see. Agent Blue Prime says, shut up. You might be talking to yourself, I think. Don't don't talk to yourself that way. Be, be positive and polite. Be nice to yourself. Come on now. All right. We got the uh, body all ready to go here. We do need to put something on this, though. Let's go ahead and put the rear window on. You love Daytona as well. Check this out. Yeah, we're going to paint it now. We also have some uh, plates on it as well. We have to take off some plates, I think. So uh, let's go ahead and take off whatever plates are here already. I don't know what country that was from. Oh, I see. It's it's actually wanting us to put them on. All right, we'll put on new plates in a moment, but let's go ahead and paint it, folks. So I need to know what color you think would be cool. Everybody in chat, go ahead and start blurting out your favorite colors. What do you think would look good on this Daytona? And we're going to go ahead and there she is in there. Oh, and that's a big old car in there. Wow, that thing is long, baby. Wow. All right, we're in the paint shop now. Let's go ahead and check out a couple of different paint colors and see what we got. Okay. So let's see here. First of all, what do we have for the uh, Magnum colors? Oh, double stripes looks sweet. Oh, that looks cool, too. Kind of like a weird... Uh, that's, that's, it's okay. Ooh, purple. I don't know. Copy does gaming. Thanks for subscribing. I think we got to go with the double stripes. Lime green? Hmm. Actually, can we change the stripe color? I don't think we can. Ooh, too much red. What if we went bl black with red stripes? Oh, what? Ooh. Oh, that looks cool. Hold on a second. That was, like, completely by accident. What do you guys think with that? Gray with, with black stripe? What do you think about this? I don't think we can change the stripe color for whatever reason. But what do we think of this? Like this weird, like, a, kind of a gray gun gunmetal kind of? Do we like this? Is it good? Do you guys like? Do you think that's good? Yes, cool. Is it? Is it nice? That kind of looks sweet. What about if we do like a matte? Mm, I don't know, metal, metallic kind of looked nice. Chameleon maybe. Ooh, I haven't done chameleon yet. Or could we do pearl? Ooh, pearl looks shiny. I like that. You guys like this? You like this little? Hold on. Let's take a look at this uh, close up. I'm gonna paint this for now, and let's just take a look and see if we like it. Oh man! Oh, oh my God! It's like a oh wow! It's like a stealth fighter. Is this a car or is this an American bomber? Is this an American stealth bomber? Holy crap! That looks really sweet, and it almost looks two tone. Like if you look at the side, you know, look look at where it comes from the the fender all the way back. It almost looks like it's black on the sides. But oh man, that I think this turned out right. I I like this. I I kind of like this. What do, what do we think? Spam a bunch of thumbs up in chat if we're good to go. Uh, if, if you guys like this one. Again, look at those beautiful tires. Very nice. Again, this is the uh, Daytona. We got a, Apparently, there's something missing on it. Do you guys know cars need engines? I had no idea. Hot, hot, hot. I like this. I like this. This is good. Those, those thumbs up. Too dark? Well, interestingly enough, when we pull it out of the... Uh, when we back it out of the paint shop, it actually gets brighter for whatever reason. Like, the paint shop is nothing but lights. Like, lights everywhere. But when we, when we actually get out of this place, it changes. We like it? It's good? Okay, good. All right, well, again, folks, if you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit, take a second to hit that like button, too. If you like this car, then hit that like button if you want me to play more of this game. Of course, I kind of determine what I do next on the channel by you guys hitting that like button and saying, like, yeah, play more of this. This is cool. So if that's truly the case, go ahead and hit that button, folks, and I'll give you a, a big old shout-out if you hit that subscribe button, too. See how it gets a little brighter out here, too? Yeah, see, see how... Ooh, my... Whoa! It's like too bright, like like being blinded. Wow. It's, don't make direct eye contact with it, folks. It's too beautiful. It's too beautiful. Is the Jaguar E-Type in the game? No, but there are mods, so you could definitely mod it in. Okay, that looks fantastic. I like that a lot. Now, over here, we have some sort of an engine that, like, yeah, for whatever reason, it's, it's like glitched out that I can't take the uh, engine off this uh, crane for whatever reason. So I can't even, like, do work on this engine. I think the only thing we can do is disassemble it. It's not even for that car. We've already disassembled the one for that car. In fact, this engine is, like, it's basically complete compared to that other one. Let's see if we can put all the parts back on this thing. Let's see if there's if there's any missing parts to this engine. We're just going to add them on and then see if we can pull this thing off the... Uh well, actually, it has all the parts. So with all the parts intact, it still won't let us remove it. That's strange. Yeah, that should be everything it needs in order to... Well, wait a minute. Let me make sure we're not missing anything. Nope. Yeah, it's got all the parts. I don't know what's going on or how we got this engine, but I guess the only way to do this... So the game is kind of glitched out, so I'm, I'm going to first save and go back to the main menu and see if that'll fix it. And if not, we'll just disassemble this totally random engine and then we'll reassemble 
a different one, or the one we had from before. So let's try that. Okay, we're going to save game, and then we'll just return here. We're just going to refresh it. That should fix it. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all here. Welcome aboard. Good to have you with us for Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I would say that this game is worth your time and money. It is very, very nice. Is there a spare place to put an engine? In your pocket, basically. If you don't have it on the uh, crane, uh, then you basically store it in your pocket or in the car. So uh, do I have a console? I do not, but I mostly play on PC. Welcome aboard, Silas. Welcome Welcome, welcome. Go to the parking garage. We'll go there sometime soon. I'll show you guys all the cars I've been working on. Bel Air restoration. Yes, we do have a Bel Air. We'll be working on that sometime soon, too. All right, hopefully that refreshed it. Maybe that uh, maybe that fixed it up. So our car is still sitting over there. That's good. And let's see if this fixes it. Yep, looks like it was just stuck for whatever reason. Okay, let's rebuild our other engine. Uh, V8 2-carb OH. I don't think we can actually use that for whatever reason. This this only takes wait. What kind of it? Wait, can you tell what kind of an engine this thing needs, or can we upgrade it? The Ryan G, thanks for subscribing. Can we actually drop this in here? No way. Don't tell me we can put the. Oh, that's not where you're supposed to assemble the engine block. Why does it? This is a V8 OHV, but it's a different engine though. Hmm. Do you think we can put the two carb in here? Because it only, it, as you see, it only has the one carburetor. You see how the carburetor, if you look at the highlight, it's only a single carburetor. As where I believe the Mustang is two. Yep. And I think the Charger is one as well. Yep. So you see there, you got the, the single, the double carburetor there. I think this engine somehow duplicated itself from the Ford. Uh, totally dead commander, thanks for subscribing. It is a good V8. How do you join that? I'm not sure. Let's see if we can, like, rotate this thing. I don't know if, it, if I did something by doing that. Should be able to add the engine at any time. That's only this one engine. And it's it's basically complete. What's going on? I don't think we can I don't think we can uh, put this engine in there. Let's let's try. If so, I've basically like cheated the whole game. <laughs> like I, I wanted to do a full engine rebuild, but for whatever reason it seems like my engine vanished and they replaced it with a Ford engine. Is somebody is Billy playing a prank on me? Johnny, thanks for subscribing. Alright, good to have you all here. Welcome aboard everyone. If it's your first time around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As you can see it says there's no items to work with. So what are you saying? I have to buy every single part for a uh, Dodge? Oh dear god, we gotta do a full engine rebuild because the game goofed up. So it wants us to use this two carb OHV. But the game will only allow us to put a one carb in there. So do we just change out the carburetor? I don't think you can do that, though. I don't know. Trans Am? We could do that sometime in the future. Uh, let's see. Matlin, thanks for subscribing. Unfortunately, we can't put upgraded engines in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the Chevy's got here. I don't even think it's got... Oh, oh, it does. It's got it's a nice little V8 working. Uh, Keelan, thanks for subscribing. Well, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Soren, thanks for subscribing. We're going to have to buy everything from uh, from scratch. So I guess we're doing a scratch engine build. Okay, well, you're in for a special treat then. Uh, V8, uh, wait, what is it called? Block, I guess, would be the good spart, uh, spart, start. It's a good place to start, that's what I meant. Now, is it an engine block B? Uh-oh. It's not an I6. I think it's an OHV standard. Uh, Marwayne, thanks for subscribing. We'll start with this then. Too bad it's not an OHV C. Hmm... I think it's just this standard engine. Let me make sure. You were cheated today too in the game? Yeah, there's. it's a weird thing about like things disappearing and being replaced with stuff they're not supposed to. I just want to make sure this engine block... Oh, look, now we have two engine blocks. Oh, it's because of the other one. Okay, so it does go in there. All right, so I just wanted to make sure it would, it would accept it because I'd hate to uh, accidentally grab the wrong part, you know? All right, Matt, thanks for subscribing. All right, we'll assemble it over here then. And we'll get everything working. So now we got to buy the parts one by one. Oh, it wants the two carb. What are you doing with it? All right, you know what? You know what I'm doing? I'm going to just sell all of our parts because it's just, it's gone crazy. I don't know what happened, but this game's gone crazy. we got to sell our parts. The inventory is going to take a second to load. We're selling everything. Everything must go down to Crazy Raptors uh, Car Selling Emporium. So get ready for this noise. Here we go. Everything must go. Tires, rims, shock absorbers. Actually, wait a minute. There's a button that says sell all. <laughs> That's much better. Agent Blue, thanks for subscribing. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is crazy. Wow, it's selling everything. That is crazy. Oh, what's going? Well, it's still, it's still selling things. It is still selling things. Well, Ethan the man, thanks for subscribing. 
you guys, sometimes if you hit that sub button, it won't pop up. We're actually we're selling everything. I'm trying to clear out the whole garage of everything we've got, and it's still it's still selling parts. Look at the bottom. You see how it's just moving through things? It might be hard to see, but look at that last row. It, uh, the game is not frozen, but I have no control over it at the moment. All right, I think it's done. Nope. Look. Oh, look at the look at the bar getting bigger. Do 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 do. There we go. Yeah. And what was that? We made twenty million dollars off that. All right, let's sell the remaining parts here. Jeez, all right. So what do we make from that? Like quarter of a trillion dollars, maybe? All right. Now, let's see if it's gotten rid of everything. Good. Okay, now we can start from fresh. Good. So now it's like as if we have no parts at all, and now we need to start fresh. So let's buy that again. Ace, thanks for subscribing. The game, for whatever reason, seemed to have goofed out. Just freaked out for whatever reason. Uh, game hard, thanks for subscribing. So a full engine... What? No parts to work with, sir. Uh, I bought a V8, didn't I? Game, why are, you, why are you being weird? Game, you stop this. No, no, no. I want to look at inventory now. So here's something called an engine block. Hmm. I wonder if we could put an engine block on the engine crane. Game? Alright. I don't know what it's doing. Let's do a re... Let's do a, a re-login again. Maybe that'll knock it loose. It's being weird. I've never had this kind of problem before in the game, so this is kind of like the first time. So I'm actually su surprised and delighted that it's only happened this one time, but it's not that bad. Okay, so we're going back. You brought the, bought the wrong engine block? Well, regardless of it being the wrong engine block, any engine block should be able to be put on the crate. So I don't know, what's, I don't know what the problem is. I still need to put the leaf spring. Yeah, I know I bought that stuff and totally forgot about it. Wrong engine. But it doesn't matter because, like, for example, in the middle of working on... Uh, this uh, Dodge, we could go over here and start working on this car, so despite it needing a different engine, it should still allow you to put any engine on there. Leo, thanks for sub subscribing as well. Oh my god. J Jose, welcome. We just need to make sure we buy the uh, correct stuff. Well, this I thought this was going to be like a super turbo build, but I guess not. Alright, let's see here. Now we got to buy everything, everything, everything from the bottom up. All right, well, we bought a V8. Let's try to buy an OHV. I don't think it needs a V6B. No, it's a V8. So there's only those two. Are you kidding me? Well, how am I supposed to assemble the engine? I guess we have to put it over here, then. Do we just drop it into the car, then? The engine's being... That's being really weird. Why does it... That's sh I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't be working on the engine in the car. It should be over on the crate. Um, this is gonna th that's impossible to get some of those parts in then, unless we lift it up to work on some of the things underneath. Oh boy. Um, well, see it takes the OHV right. You subscribe? Well, thank you very much, Joy. All right, let's. Yeah, no items to work with. What? You gotta start with the engine block. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and do this the uh, different way, I guess. We're gonna drop the engine block in there just so we can get the engine built. The game's just not cooperating for once, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to dr just drop it into the uh, car and uh, see if we can work on it from here. So get ready for us to lift it up and down a few times, and we'll see there. Put it on the engine lift instead of the crane. Well, if you put it on the engine lift, it, it'll say no items to work with because the, the uh, lift itself looks for completed engines, and since it's not completed... The engine has to be removed. Well, but we're... I don't know. But that doesn't make sense. Why would I buy one and then take it out with a crane? Does that work that way? All right, let's, let's see. That's really weird. I know I have to assemble it on the... Oh, there it goes. But you know what's weird, though, is because I, I went to the shop to buy this. It just has to be in a different form. So whatever. Anyway, we got it. Okay, let's flip it then. Good thing I didn't have to do it that way. Uh, all the way upside down. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and go through the parts we're going to need to buy. So we know we need to buy a crankshaft. We know we need to buy pistons and a uh, and some caps and stuff. So let's start with the pistons. And we need... Oh, piston. We're going to need uh, eight of these. And we're also going to need eight of those springs, too. Well, at least everything's starting from fresh. So you guys are seeing a fresh total rebuild then. By us basically buying the parts. Too bad we couldn't, like, you know, rebuild by refurbishing them. Uh, but anyway. Alright, let's see. So we got these two done. Oh, yeah, crankshaft is next. Uh, that's going to be a uh, OHV. 
Then we need crankshaft bearing caps. I think that takes four. And then we want the, uh, what are those called? The caps. But what are they called for on the camp? No, not camshaft. Rod caps. There we go. Eight of these. Alright, that should start us with the basics all, all of a sudden. Uh, and again, folks, if you're new around here, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button so I can give you a big old shout out. I want to welcome all the new people here today. So if you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button so I can give you a big old shout out. Welcome, everyone. Nice to have so many uh, kind folks here today. So it's uh, nice to have you here. It's nice to have you hit that like button if you want to see more. It helps me to make more content for you all to enjoy. So welcome to each and every one of you. We're going to get these pistons in here. Chevy all the way? Okay. Nightbot is just reminding you guys of important links, such as follow me on Twitter. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, links down below. We also have a t-shirt store, and uh, if anybody buys a t-shirt there, I'll uh, give you a personal thanks here tonight, too. And uh, all uh, some people some people say, I bought a shirt, and then look, and they didn't buy a shirt. So don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. There's a way for me to tell. Jaleel, thanks for subscribing. All right, let's get the rest of these uh, pistons in. Very good. And then we'll get the uh, camshaft bearings on. Crankshaft bearings, sorry. Camshaft, we're also going to have to buy one of those too, aren't we? You subscribed, everybody subscribing? Good, your name should pop up here, so welcome to all the new people being subscribers. And uh, thank you. Alright, now we, need, we do need to get these caps on too, but let's get those bearings in there. You bought a Dino Diner shirt last week? Yes, you did. Somebody, somebody bought a lot of those shirts. And uh, any of those videos you guys want to see will be coming out soon. I don't know when, but uh, we're working on stuff, so be patient, folks. Don't worry. Anyone else here from Australia? Raptor is, if you can tell my by accent. Of course, mate. Uh, we are both from down under, yo. If you know what I'm saying, brah. There you go. He totally fell for that. I'm pretty sure that was very convincing. Okay, let's get the rest of this together. We're, we're actually doing like a full rebuild. You are you guys are lucky that I know what I'm doing. Well, no, I don't. I kind of know what I'm doing. So there you go. All right, there we go. Boom. And there, see, Nightbot linked the Twitter, so that's very nice. All right, let's get the oil pan on then. And we want an OHV oil pan, right? Uh, there we go. All right, we're going to pop that on. You're the best there, fun buddy. Thanks for being a good supporter. And again, you people hitting that subscribe button, I'll give you a shout out. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Free game in the description, by the way, guys. Free game. First link in the description. Go ahead and, yep, open up that description. Free game waiting there for you. Cross out. Go ahead and download that one right away if you'd like to uh, play cross out with us sometime in the future. You can all join the TeamSpeak 2 with the last link in the description. Apparently, maybe tomorrow we'll do ourselves some, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll do some, uh, like Euro Truck or something like that, or ATS, and if you guys want to play with us, well, you guys know what to do. Join the TeamSpeak with that link, and I will welcome you to our community. All right, we got two OHVs here that we're popping on. Uh, V8 uh, engine heads here, so three bolts on that one, four across the other side. Five, actually. There we go. We'll slide a camshaft in there in a moment, too. Let's get the other engine head on. And uh, we're going to need to get ourselves a camshaft. All right, let's do that. Uh, let's see, my Bramble Star. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, that's, you took it off because I didn't put the last bolt on right. Oh darn! I missed a bolt. It was the stupid sunlight. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll just pretend like this didn't happen. And perfect. Okay. All right, now let's get that. Um, what was it? The ca the camshaft in there. Uh, let's see, camshaft for a OHV. Oh. I think it's just the standard. I hope we rebuild it correctly. All right, let's go ahead and throw that in there then. Now, if I do a, if I build the wrong engine, we can all lol. <laughs> Andrew, thanks for subscribing. Oh, we got to get ourselves the uh, intake and the exhaust as well. Intake man, ooh, that looks really cool for an MPI. I really wish we could do turbos and things like that. Uh, what do we need? Supercharger, intake manifold, OH. I don't think you can do upgrades, unfortunately. Why would it do that to us? You can't do that. If you if you do that, it'll tell you it won't fit in the car. Otherwise, I'd love to do it. Let's do the single car, but wait a minute. Don't you need the OHV, though? Well, this is the single manifold for this one. Excalibur, thanks for subscribing. So we'll do the uh, one carburetor. There we go. That's all the Dodge can take. She can only handle one carb. She's trying to cut down on her diet, so she's watching her carbs. Dead Freak Show, thanks for subscribing. How many cars are in the game? I don't know, like almost like 30 or more. Uh-oh, I didn't do those last two bolts. Jeez, I'm missing bolts, man. There we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, we got it. We're good. All right, let's work on, let's now go for the carburetor. Let's work underneath and work on some of the exhaust uh, manifolds now. 
Let's do that. Alright, exhaust manifold for a uh, uh, sub. Thanks for subscribing. We need to get ourselves an OHV exhaust manifold. Where is it? There she is. Boom. Two of those bad boys. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, we need to be able to do upgrades on these cars. Like, the fact that it only lets you put in, like, stock or certain parts is sad. Like, come on, let us put the turbo everything on there. Supercharger, mega turbo. I want a nuclear reactor in my car. That's what I want. You like spin tires videos? Good. We'll be doing more of that sometime soon. We plan to do everything sometime soon. It just it just depends on the time. That's all. You like cheese? I like cheese, too. Welcome aboard, folks. Again, if you're new around these parts, hit that subscribe button. Your name will pop up, and I'll welcome you to the stream. So hello and welcome, welcome. We're doing an engine rebuild on a Daytona. It's sitting over there in the corner. I'll show you all real quickly here. Uh, we're, we've done a beautiful job on this thing. Uh, restored from nothing, and now she's got a beautiful paint job. Everything's good to go aside from the engine. We had a, we had an engine malfunction, meaning it wouldn't even even pop up on this thing but now we're doing a total rebuild of the engine so uh now we're gonna get ourselves a uh, what is that a, a single barrel uh carburetor a carburetor there we go and we want the uh not the single barrel but the two no uh what is it the oh wait uh oh uh tara mclea thank you very much for subscribing uh oh hmm do we want the four barrel uh uasama thank you for subscribing uh we want the single car but where is it the F, though? Or is it the B? And uh, Ryan Farlow, thanks for subscribing. All right, let's just go with the standard four-barrel. Bel Air, yeah, that'll be cool to do in the future. Boom, 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 boom. All right, nice. And uh, round air filter. Now, I think the... Now that I think of it, I wonder if the Dodge engine should be orange. Austin, thanks for subscribing. Uh, we want ourselves the single car bottom and then the air filter. And uh, the base. Oh, well, that's the top, I think. All right, there, we'll buy the bottom as well. Okay, let's go with this. Boom. And then the little air filter. Great. And then the little cover. Beautiful. All right, looking good. Okay, now we need a lot of little electronics and such. We'll uh, put on the uh, engine... Um, actually, we need to put rocker... Uh, rocker panels or something on there in order to get that going. Let's go ahead and do the timing belts and such. Cam gear and timing belt and all that stuff. Actually, let's just do the cam gear. Uh, what do we want here? The OHV, right? Yep. Oh, what? We don't even have to bolt that in? Oh, okay. It just slides on. Alright, crankshaft. Then we need our timing belt. Or is it chain? Timing chain for an OHV. America. Pro Farmer, thanks for subscribing. You should be a, d learn to rap. Well, I would rap, but my rap's a crap. Okay, V8. Oh, what is that? The timing cover, right? Timing cover. Timing cover. Timing cover for an OHV. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got this. All right, now there's a lot of bolts that go onto this one. And then we got to put on, uh, yep, the water pump as well. So we got to put on our water pump for a, thank God they label them. There we go. I need to do a V6. V8s are great. I'd like to do a couple of V6s too, just for the difference in the engine. That would be real cool. All right, let's go ahead and put on our water pump pulley. And uh, again, all those folks who are just joining us, I want to welcome all of you to our community. So thanks for being a subscriber here today. You guys are great. So thank you very much for being here. And uh, whether or not you're new or a longtime member, welcome. No, 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 no. No, that you can't have the supercharger yet. No, no, no. Got to have the regular water pump. Can't do the superchargers yet. They're not. They're not. It's too powerful. Still too powerful. Okay, that mm -hmm. should be good. Now the next thing we need to do is put on our power steering and our alternator. So let's put on our power steering. Uh, yep. And our alternator. I think there's only one. Oh, there's two alternators in the game. And then I don't know what belts we're going to need, so what we're going to have to look. Oh, Tid! Shout out from down under. Keep the videos coming. Hashtag Dino Diner. Hashtag Rat Pack Fam. I think you may have meant farm, but we're fam too. 
Thank you very much, Tid, for your $5. A big O shout out to Tid. All right. Thank you for your support. Appreciate that, buddy. Very nice. Woo! Here it comes. That's beautiful. Thanks for your big O support, my friend. Okay, so we need our serpentine belts. Oh, boy. Um, I think we need the B, but we need the OHV. And then what's the other one? Probably a... I'll have to take a look at it. Bel Air Restoration. Yes, I hear you guys on the Bel Air. I'm totally down with the Bel Air. We'll do a Bel Air sometime soon. We've got a Bel Air. We'll restore it very soon. All right. Uh, serpentine belt A, OHV. Serpentine belt A, OHV. Where is it? I know you already see it, but where is it? You guys already see it, I'm sure. Serpentine belt A, Rot V6, OHV. Ah, there it is. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're going to do. Uh, do a Ford F-150. We actually have done a Ford 100 before. Yes. I'll need to get some modern cars. I'd like to do some trucks from the 80s, some Fords and Dodges from the 80s. Uh, here we go. The ignition coil B. All right, there we go. And I think the other thing we need, what was that? The uh, Oh, that fuel uh, filter again. Now that we're at it, we may as well buy a OHV uh, filter as well. And a fuel filter. There we go. All right, very good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue on with a few things. We're going to go ahead and put on our uh, fuel filter. We're going to need to get our distributor cap on. Impala, yeah, that'd be cool to do as well. All right, distributor... Okay, let's go with this. And we need a regular ignition distributor for this. Okay, let's go ahead and put on our ignition uh, distributor. And then we need the clips for that too. If you guys remember, one thing we needed them big O clips. Big O clips. What is cross out? Because I might be able to get it. Well, David, if you're curious of the game, uh, you can get that with the first link in the description. So uh, all you got to do is tell you what, it is a free game, and literally you can download it in like 20 minutes, which sounds like a lifetime. But once it's downloaded, you go ahead and start playing it, and let me know if you like it. If you do, great. If you don't, you uninstall it, and that's it. Uh, it's totally free, totally safe. It's from the people who made War Thunder, which is a huge online game. So it's uh, very, very good. Oh, my goodness. Tid, yet another $5. Sharing the love again. In a good mood. Have a great day and night, especially you, Raptor. Hashtag shrimp on the Barbie. Now, I don't really um, know a lot about Barbie dolls, but, you know, if, if you want to put shrimp on yours, that's fine. That is completely fine. But, yes, yeah, thanks again, Tid. Let's hear that beautiful explosion for Tid, folks. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Fire! All right. Thank you again, Tid, for your kindness. That's fantastic. So again, thanks to Waffle and Tid for their support tonight, folks. That's how you do a super chat. If you want to do that, something will happen in the chat. Something will happen in the screen. The crazy guy you're watching will say, hey, you're awesome, that kind of thing. So if you like all that kind of stuff, there you go. Bel Air and an Impala. Oh, yeah. both at the same time. That'd be cool. William, that'd be awesome. You know what would be really cool is if it, this were multiplayer, you could be working on one thing, your friend's disassembling an engine while you're, like, reassembling a suspension or something like that. All right, looks like we're in all good shape over here. We do need to throw that oil filter on, though. Let's go ahead and pop that on now. Very good. Now we do need to get a few extra things on here. We need to buy ourselves uh, eight spark plugs, 16 uh, valve push rod. I hate doing this part, but that's all right. Uh, spark, S-P-A-R-K. So we need to buy uh, eight of these and then 16 push rods. Oh, boy. Big O. Big O push rods. You have soap in your eye? Uh-oh. Uh, let's go with push rods. Ye yes. Thank you for subscribing. Push rods for a... Nope, that's a different one. So we'll buy 16 of these. And we'll need to buy those uh, rocker covers or whatever they're called. They rock back and forth there. The rocker arms. That's what we're looking for. And I think we need something else. What, uh, we'll we'll get to that I guess in a second. We'll we'll do all the we'll do the spark plugs first. Then we'll do the valve uh, push rods, and then finally the uh, the rocker covers. All right, spark plugs times eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four on this side. And I think that means there could possibly be four on the other side. I'm not familiar with it. Yes, of course. All right, we also need to do the flywheel, the clutch pressure plate, and a few other things, too. So there you go. Yeah, so we, I do appreciate it, Tid. So thanks for your kindness. Most of all, like, the dollar amount is, is awesome. Like, it's nice to see people supporting as big as they do. But real, what really matters is that somebody who just cared enough to be like, hey, man, I like your stuff. Here's Here's a dollar. Here's five dollars. Somebody, well, I'm not going to say how much, but people people donate big sometimes, and that's nice. But I don't care. 
Regardless, what I care is that all of you are here tonight. I want to say hi to you all and welcome you here again and again and again to the channel. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I know there's somebody tuning in right now like, ooh, what's this guy? What's this game? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. You hit that sub button and I will give you a big old shout out and welcome you to our community here. Of course, we have a team speak. We, uh, it's basically just like Discord. So uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Nice to have you here and uh, watching. And we're going to be doing some like American Truck or Euro Truck tomorrow. You guys can all tune in and watch that. That'll be a ton of fun. I'll be busy this weekend doing a lot of stuff. I got some friends visiting from Europe for the weekend, so you guys will uh, see them. I actually, some some friends from Europe, some friends from America. A lot of people are going to be at my place. We'll live stream it. You guys can come hang out. It'll be a good time, and hopefully everyone has a lot of fun. And uh, I got some special surprises in store that not even you guys know about. So there's some big O surprises coming. So uh, I hope you're all uh, excited for what's coming uh, very soon. Engine head cover. We're looking for a OHV. OHV engine head cover. I believe that's it. Is it the A or the B? Uh-oh. Not sure. We better make sure we check. Oh, it is the A. Good. Okay. So now we just got to put the engine head covers on both sides. We'll connect the electronics, and then we'll work on the uh, back end over there where the flywheel is. All right. Very good. Rap Raptor the wrapper? Well, we'll see about that. Do a Tahoe? Wouldn't that be cool to do just like kind of everyday vehicles that people see all the time? I'd really like to work on some square body vehicles of like the 80s and 90s. That would be awesome. Like a 95 uh, Chevy Tahoe or like a Ford uh, like extended cab. What do they call it? Crew cab? Yeah. There you go. That would be cool. All right. Now we're going to get these push rods in on this side. Same deal. We're going to put in uh, 16 push rods in total. So that means another eight on this side. And then uh, we put on eight uh, more, um, what do you call them, rocker, uh, what do they call these exactly, rocker heads or something? Rocker arms, sorry. They should call them rocker heads because, you know, like Metallica or something. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? WRX, that would be cool. Yeah. I feel like I'd be working in a Midas, though, just doing brake changes all, all day. Oh, my God. Do a Mega Ram. Ooh, that sounds cool. Oh, you're sad and poor and you don't have a PC? Well, that's okay. At least we can hang out. You can watch me build this. It's all about the conversation. We're having a good having a good time just hanging out, playing some car mechanic, you know. It's a good game. I can't believe, actually, that I've been playing this as long as I have. I thought by now, um, you know, everyone would kind of just be bored of the game and be like, ah, it's, just, it's cars, we get it. But no. Oh, wait, cover B. Oh, you got to buy a B cover for the other side? Oh, interesting. One, one on one side, one on the other, I guess. The B is the one without the oil intake, so I guess that makes sense. Okay. I didn't know it mattered, but it makes sense that it does. And then we'll get the electronics in here, too. This would be the uh, wiring for an OH... Oh, what? Oh, I missed one bolt. No. That's okay. We'll do it again. There we go. Not a problem. Construction Sim's a great game. Yeah, that's a really good game. It was Tid... Tid oh, have you played Construction Sim 15? Oh, isn't that... I think it's only for phone, though. Uh, or wait, no. Actually, you know what? They need a new construction sim. I want to play that with my friends. I want that to come out on PC. Well, friends minus Daniel. Daniel would be trouble. All right, I keep missing a bolt. Where is the bolt that I'm missing? Like, I keep trying to get this darn thing on here. Why is it not going? I must have missed it twice. There we go. I think we're good now. All right, ignition wires. Are there trucks in the game? Yes, there's a pickup. There's a Ford one that I can think of off the top of my head. All right, there we go. Okay, wires are all installed. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that should be it. Let's go ahead and get to the back side where we need to replace... Oh, wait, we were at the back side. We need to put on there the... Um, what exactly do we need back here? Crankshaft. Oh, no, not the part notes. No, no, no. All right, part notes is... Flywheel, and then the clutch plate and such. Oh, didn't mean to order that. My bad. All right, flywheel, clutch. We need to buy ourselves a clutch plate, pressure plate, and a release bearing. Well, those are affordable. All right, yeah, supercharged V8. Yeah, I wish you could do engine upgrades at the moment. They don't allow uh, There's, like, supercharged stuff in here, but they just don't, like, let you do that. I don't know. You know what would be really cool is to do, like, classic cars, like, real, real, like, we're talking 20s and 30s, like, Duesenbergs, where it's just, like, 12 cylinders that get like four miles to the gallon. They have uh, no horsepower at all, but they're beautiful. Very cool stuff. Okay, I think that's it, folks. I think we got our release bearing on there, though it's hard to tell. All right, so this should be good to go. Let's go ahead and put this thing in our magical pocket then. I feel like uh, Blue's Clues or something whenever we do this, but there we go. 
Now we should be able to drop it in here, hopefully. You're making a mod for GTA? Alright. Well, that's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, noob. Alright, let's go to the engine crane. There we go. Install. Boom. And there she goes. She's in there. Very nice. Let's move the engine crane out of the way now. No, not the inventory. Um, no, no. Uh, oh, come on now, engine. All right, engine crane's not gonna cooperate. It's just gonna sit there now. Okay, fine. Be a jerk. Um, let's go ahead and get under the car. Then we still got some things to install. We got to put on the drivetrain, and then we've also got to put on uh, those uh, leaf spring uh, lock things, whatever you call them, and then the um, the gearbox. So we'll have to put on the gearbox first. Oh, and a little bit of the uh, uh, exhaust has to be installed. <coughs> I forgot we uh, got rid of the gearbox. Uh, let's see, just regular gearbox or what? Gearbox. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Is it just a regular V8? Mm. It should be an OHV, right? Is it just a V? No, that's not right. V8, no. V8, V6? Is it the F? Oh, here it is. That's what we wanted. Boom. Okay. Now, again, folks, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I want to welcome everyone to joining us here tonight. We are far from finished with this vehicle. We still have a lot of parts to install underneath the car. Uh, for example, like the starter and such. We'll grab that now, and then we'll uh, bring the car back down one last time, install a few more things in the engine bay, and then uh, go ahead and go out on a little bit of a test drive for this one. So let's go ahead and get the starter in here. Uh, I think we need... Uh, I think we need... Wait, what do you got for starters? There's a V8 starter. I think that's what we need more specifically. So let's grab that. And then we need to grab ourselves a couple of exhaust ports, too. We need the exhaust OHVA. So let's go ahead and grab those. Now, this is going to be a hard one to find, I have a feeling. Uh, let's see. OHVA. There's a turbo. Rot A. Uh, let's see. OHV. Where is this thing? OHVA. Very nice. Alright, both pipes are installed there. Then we can get our middle uh, mufflers now and our rear exhaust. So we need our uh, rear muffler for an OHV. And we want our middle muffler. Nope, not that one. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right, all right. We're good to go. So we just need to uh, pop these on, and then we'll get the uh, ex uh, the exhaust completed. Then we will get our... Um, we're going to get our uh, transmission on there completed. There we go. All right, now the next thing is... Uh, well, let's get a fuel tank and a fuel pump, too. Uh, let's see. Fuel pump... And fuel tank. Very good. Well, they even have fuel injectors in the game. Very nice. And we do need to put the pump on, so let's go ahead and get that into focus here. There we go. Fuel pump. Very good. Okay, now the last things we need to do uh, is to uh, drop the car back down. Nope. We want to install that uh, drivetrain again. So what's that called again exactly? Shaft. Drive shaft. Oh, I guess we better try drive... Drive shaft. Okay, we want a... Uh, oh, wow, look at that. They have a 4x4. Four four. They have a 4x4 four four drive shaft. That's cool. Alright, install this. We need to do 8 bolts in total underneath for this. So that's 4 on the back and 4 in the front. Very nice. Okay, she's ready to rock. Okay, now that should be everything uh, that's underneath the uh, exhaust section so let's get ourselves the plates now and let's go ahead and go with two of these and we want the U what is it U shaped bolts or whatever uh, what oh, what are those things called again U bolts there it is U leaf spring U bolt okay so four of those is what we're buying uh, let's see, you're making an old planes, DC family, walkie, uh, Airbus. Oh, very cool. That'll be nice. Wow, that's that takes some talent. Good work. RPG Gaming, hello to you. Hi, everyone in chat. Hey, who wants a shout-out? Hit that subscribe button, folks. New people here, I'm sure. 
So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll welcome you to the community. Thanks, everyone, again for your super chats tonight. Very kind of all of you to be dropping all the super chats. You can also support us via PayPal if you'd like as well. Again, your name will pop up here all the time. You can ask a good, good way, too, to ask a question or to just leave a nice little message that everyone, including myself, can't miss. So there you go. They should add tractors to the game. Actually, uh, there was a tractor repair game, I believe, which would allow you to uh, repair not only tractors but, like, implements and such. You know what I really like to see is a diesel mechanic simulator. That would be awesome. All right, as far as I know, that's good for underneath. So let's go ahead and bring her back down. Okay, we need to grab that battery from over on the charger. Let's go ahead and pop that in. We need to get our brake servo on here. Or as they call it, what do they call it? The brake pump? Brake servo, it is right. RPG, or RP Gaming. RPG Gaming, either way, RP Gaming, there you go. Okay, we need the uh, radiator C. And again, a free link to a free game is waiting for you folks. The first link in the description, if you like building cars, you're going to love this game too. So make sure you check that out. I think the uh, cap comes with the car. Let's try the servo. Okay, well, we should be ready to start it up as soon as we add the oil. So as soon as the uh, brake servo's in there and the oil's in, Mr. Swantors, thanks for subscribing. That should be it. So let's go ahead and throw some oil in this thing and uh, see what we can do here. The Gamer, thanks for subscribing as well. All right, now, in order to do this, we have to part on mount the cap. And then here it comes. Look, 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 she's thirsty. She's thirsty. Yes. There you go. Drink up now. And that should be good. Alright, let's take a well, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. Now let's take a look at the dipstick. See how we did. Hey, hey right right just below Max. Alright. Braden Best, thanks for subscribing. Okay, that should be good to go. Let's go ahead and hop in and give her a test drive. We'll send one actually we're all full on cars. William Anderson, thanks for subscribing. Can we actually sit in the Oh, you know what? Oh, of course. We've got we got, we've still gotta be able to um we got we got to be able to put an interior in this thing. We need to buy some interior parts. Okay, let's work on the interior then. So let's see. Oh, wait, not the body spot. We're all done there. And I also need to put some license plates on this too, so I need to know where you think a license plate should be from. Mm, where do you think? Uh, Melty Chocolate, thanks for subscribing. All right, we're going to go back to uh, interior. We're going to just try to f we're just going to try to s do something. Nightbot is just an automated program that is just there to uh, remind you guys about uh, links where you can follow me. It's an informational bot. That's all. I think these these seats look cool here. Let's go ahead and grab two of these. They look real cool for racing. They're pretty standard. And let's go with a uh, back seat as well. Oh, we need a steering wheel. I think this steering wheel was in there from before. That looked kind of cool. Let's go with that. And then, lastly, let's go with this. Maybe that. Maybe that'll do. Okay, let's go ahead and install. Uh, wait, first we want to go to... Uh, oh, boy, how are we going to do this again? Uh, interior disassemble, interior assemble. There we go. All right, now let's throw the steering wheel on. Boom. Front uh, passenger and driver seats are in. And the bench. Oh, boy, looks like we got to work with a specific bench seat. This is a pain sometimes when they... Actually, we don't even have to put a bench in there, but we will. We're going to do it anyway. I bought that one. I thought it I thought that would be it. Ooh. Can we put this one in there? It's very picky about the bench seats for what oh my god. I don't know why it does that. It's so picky about the bench seats. It's like it just says bench, but then when you try to put something else in, it's like ugh. I don't even know what it needs. We could be here buying benches all day. Fastback, that's not it. Do we just type, well, what is this called again? What is this car called? This is the, um, I know the real name of it, but what's the game name? It is the, uh, oh, I had it there. Tempest, I think? I think it's called the Tempest. Uh, Tempest, is that it? Yeah, Tempest Magnum is the name of it, Magnum. Well, Mike, this is the uh, Blue Yeti, Blue Yeti microphone, Tempest Magnum. You gotta remember that, that they only take the back, you know, I wonder why they do that. It only allows you to do one seat, which I guess makes sense, but also, um, you know, if there's only one seat, then what the, f what, why? Oh my god, am I gonna have to buy 12 back seats now? This game is being a butt. Why are you doing this? Alright, here it is, Bench Magnum Leather. 
Alright, let's buy one of those. Okay, let's also do Tempest. Just to make sure. Yeah, this should be the right one. If it doesn't let me do that, I'm just going to go ahead and just say whatever. Because it's, it's just being a butt. Okay. All right. It's just, it's just, that's just the way it's going to be. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, bring it out to the racetrack. We can throw the seats in another time. Not, not the end of the world. So let's go to the test track. No, the racetrack with our wonderfully restored Daytona, folks. The Daytona is ready to rock. Oh, my goodness. Now, hopefully the steering wheel stays on this time. You guys remember in the past we've had wheels disappear that I have installed. Uh, bench press seat, says Tid. But it's called the thing. All right. Are we all ready? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this car before we start racing. Oh, man. Boy, does that look awesome. Am I doing modded cars? Not at the moment, but I do plan to do that. Oh, man. All right, are you all ready? Okay, let's see how fast we can go. I'm going to try to do three laps, so, uh, you know, be ready for a loud noise and bad driving. It is very difficult to drive with a keyboard, but we'll see how she goes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Woo! There we go, boys. All right. The Daytona's off to a uh, good start here. Ooh, that is a neat-looking little uh, speedometer. Now, this car is going to be very heavy. Let's see how she handles in the turns. Ooh, she's handling a lot better than I thought. Nope, never mind. Ooh, but she stops on the time. All right, now, again, remember, my second lap is usually the best. Wow, this interior looks nice. Jeez. Someone told mom there's a shoe sale. Beep. There you go. All right, now around the corner. Boy, this car is a little more difficult than I remember. Oh, boy. Not that I've driven it before, but maybe they updated some stuff in the game. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. We're going to try to get our uh, good lap going. Try to follow our path. Oh, dear God, no. Okay, why does it need to stop for 20 minutes? We're, we're doing like 90 kilometers an hour. It's just like... That's unnecessary. Okay, we'll see if we can do this. All right, so the time to beat is probably going to be a minute 34. That's what I'm thinking. So let's see what happens. Oh, looks like it's going to be a minute 37. Ooh, 38. All right. Got to slow down for two months. There we go. Jeez, I don't understand the braking on some of these cars. Jesus, man. Whoa, okay. Oh, my God. You're listening from work? Well, hello to you, Kingsbury. There we go. All right, the goal now is just to beat our previous time. Jeez, it's like we're crawling through this map. That map, that little RX3 we did yesterday was the best car for this map with these types of turns. This car is more for like a, we need a straightaway, long stretch of road, baby. Very difficult to drive on a keyboard. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. All right, we're good. All right, we're doing it. Wow, we got up to fourth gear for once. Minute 20 on that one. All right, here comes our six months stopping. Jesus, man. Either you're way too early or you're way too late on that break. Better to be early, I guess. Oh, never mind, we're late. Jesus, man. It is pretty much a dragster. Yeah, it's a dragster, really. But it has race tires on it, so it can at least... It can hold its own. Very good. All right, folks, so I think we might not beat our time, but a minute 20 I think might be the best we can do. So future cars I plan to do is, yes, we plan to do some modded cars. That's going to be fantastic. I also plan to do a few other remaining cars in the game, such as a 57 Chevy. We'll finish up that GT2000. 
and a few other cars that uh, we have not yet been able to uh, complete or start on. So uh, I'm going to do all the ones worthwhile in the game, not not just the, but, you know, we're not going to do the Napa Auto Parts, no, not I shouldn't even say that, like the Midas Touch, you know, grocery getters. We're going to do these big old legendary uh, cool cars that you've read about or heard about or seen in the videos, so, uh, oh boy, all right. There we go. Wow, looks like that wall held it out. Very good. All right, this is our last lap. Very, again, very difficult to drive on these keyboards. Yeah, the green machine. But don't worry, she'll be back. Top knowledge. You're definitely a viewer. All right, not too bad. That was our third lap then. So uh, 24, minute 24. So between 38, 24, very good. Jesus, stopped for like six months, this car. All right, very good. So that is the Daytona, folks. A very beautiful design. And I love our paint job. Very cool uh, paint. Look at that, man. That, that looks sweet. Very, very good car. And apparently floating as well. Look at that. Wow, the hover. This is the hover model, by the way. All right, good. Let's go back to the uh, to the garage then. Sorry for all the skirt, skirt, but you know how it is in modern day. All right, folks. Well, I think that is it for this episode. So thank you very much for tuning in for more Car Mechanic Simulator. It was nice to have you here with me. We're going to go ahead and do some more uh, ATS or Euro Truck possibly tomorrow, so stay tuned on that. We're going to do more cars in the future as well. So welcome aboard Mike Biggie. Mark Biggie. Sorry, Mark Biggie. Welcome aboard. So we're going to do uh, Corvettes. We're going to do uh, Bel Airs. We're going to do 57 Chevys, all sorts of different cars sometime in the future, folks. So it's been an absolute pleasure to be live streaming this game. I am so happy all of you are just smashing that uh, subscribe button and everything. But right now, i got to go take a break, so i got to play some video games, I guess. So I will see you all uh, next time. You have yourselves a good weekend if I don't talk to you. And Raptor very soon is going to have some friends over. So uh, there you go. I will see you all soon. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, goodbye. Now i got to scrape super glue off my finger, so I think we're going to be here a while. Oh boy, this this is gonna be a tough one. I might have to I might have to get a knife. Oh boy. Alright. I'll see you guys from the emergency room next time. Bye.